So Sam, got a new shipment of balls in. Look, my wrist is really sore, but I will sign it if you want me. No, no, we don't need your autograph. These are balls to oh. test for my golf by readers. Okay, cool. I'm with it. This guy's head is blown up. Anyway, what arrived was these white prototype boxes from Strixon. And okay. just in case you want to get in the golf ball business, Sam, get yourself some white plain boxes, send them out to golf media, you're in, because everybody seems to be doing this. Yeah, I feel like we just got these from Strixon. Bridgestone sent us these a couple weeks ago, and then Titleist does this every year. Hey, everybody's chasing number one, you know what I mean? That's so, true. anyway, what do we got here? So, we've got the new Strixon Z Star and the new Strixon Z Star XV. Okay, so what's the main difference for golfers? What do they need to know? Well, first off, they won't tell me the differences between their last year's models and the prototypes they just sent us. Um, apparently, that's secret information. But what I do know is that the XV ball is a four piece, where the Z Star is a three piece ball. Last year, we did know the differences, right? So what were the main differences between these two balls that are now being replaced? Yeah, so they still feature the same spin skin technology on the on the outside of the ball. I don't know, I actually think they got a, the supposedly new, a new skin. The new one is definitely a new skin. Um, the old ones though have, the, I think it's the same skin on both balls. Uh, like I said, the, the core makeups are different, four piece versus three piece. The Z-Star XV is supposed to go a little bit higher and it's definitely going to feel a little bit more firm than the regular Z-Star, uh, whereas the regular Z-Star is supposed to fly lower and then also feel a little bit softer. And we'd love to tell you which ball goes farther, but I think they're both supposed to be the similar distance balls, correct? Yeah, similar distance, similar spin, um, just different feel. When I walked in, I actually saw Harry doing some quality control. Uh, did you know that he was literally counting every dimple? He's been doing that all morning, yeah. But we, don't, we don't cut corners here. Harry, great job. Sam's a good golfer, plus... Two. What golf ball do you play? Strixon Z-Star XV. Yeah, so why do you play that ball? Uh, first off, it's less expensive than any other premium ball you can find on the market. True. Probably ones are, what, $50 a dozen. I think these are $29. Um, so they're really inexpensive. This ball flights really well through the wind. I feel like a lot of b balls balloon, and this one kind of... And you talk a lot about it distinguishing itself from other balls by the color of it. The thing that I think is cool about Strixon is they do this white cover called pure white where it's it's pretty much whiter than other golf balls so other, whiter than other white distinguishes golf balls. it from other golf yeah, balls. i mean i can tell you know we all hit it in a general region i can pretty much tell which ball is mine just because it's whiter than the rest and they have something called spin skin for everybody out there so um, can you tell the readers and golfers out there kind of the theory behind spin skin every manufacturer has got their own little you know play on a quality cover, but Strixon named their spin skin because of the way that the urethane is mixed, it's supposed to be stickier than other. It does feel uh, stickier. Yeah, it, it feels, I mean, you can tell it. You hold a Proby one and, and a Strixon in your hand, you can tell the difference. Yeah. Sam's a great golfer, plus two. Not all of us are plus two handicapped. So what we're gonna do today is we're going to test these two balls against each other. We're also gonna put it up against the Pro V1. That's the way you can kind of tell the difference between if you're just a Strixon guy, kind of what you can expect between the two balls. And if you're playing the current, you know, Titleist Pro V1, how this relates to that in regards to performance. So, you ready to get testing these things? Let's do it. Let's go. All right, y'all, we're back in the lab. I got the new Strixon Z-Star and Z-Star XV golf balls. We're gonna put it up against the number one ball in golf, the Titleist Pro V1. We're gonna test with three different clubs, a driver, a seven iron, and a wedge at three different swing speeds. We're gonna fit for flex. We got Foresight GC Quad to capture the data. Let's see what happens. All right, Harry, the results are in, the test is done. Obviously, we tested the three balls, the Z-Star XV, the Titleist Pro V1, and the Z-Star, but we do know that not everybody swings as fast as Harry and I do. So, we went ahead and got data at driver speeds of 100 miles per hour as well as 85 miles per hour. We also know that not everyone cares about only driver data. Right. So, with all those three swing speeds, they tested with a driver, 7-iron, and sandwich. I do want to note that we use the same head for every single shot, but we fit accordingly to the each and individual swing speed out there. Right, so some guys use stiff flex, some guys use regular, mm -hmm. some guys use X. Yeah. All right, so before we get too far into the data, I wanna talk about our personal preferences on the balls mm -hmm. tested. Um, I mean, I played Z-Star XV for a long time. 
in all the different conditions that I play in. Um, in the wind, I feel like the ball glides through it. And I've also always been kind of like a firmer field ball guy. What about you? Personally, I enjoyed the Z Star more than the uh, XV itself. Why is that? Uh, it was a little bit softer. I, I'm a bit more of a feel guy. Um, when I go into the green a little bit more, I like to dial my, in, my numbers in. I don't mind the high ball flight. Um, but for a preference, I love the soft feel. Okay. Well, you know, it's funny you mentioned that. Looking at the data, um, you know, I'm, I'm sorry to say that you performed much better with the Z Star XV hmm. than you did with the Z Star. Um, you know, Interesting. Between you and I, uh, we both achieved the fastest ball speed with the Pro V1 actually, but next in line was the Z Star XV. I mean, differences were minimal. Pro V1 164.7, uh, Z Star XV 164.3, okay. not very far off. But the Z Star only gave us, you know, 161.8, which comparatively is, is quite a bit slower, being that the swing speeds aren't that far off. Um, though the the launch angle of the Z Star was much higher than the Z Star XV and the Pro V1 X or the Pro V1, excuse me. Uh, that definitely makes sense. Yeah. Uh, with the softer ball, you're gonna get a little bit of higher it's gonna launch. Go up, yeah. It's exactly. gonna go up more. Yeah. Spin rate's comparable. Z Star XV again lower. Um, Pro V1 was the highest out of all of them, which it's pretty much to be expected. It's big expected. Uh, it's from, it's yeah, always a, a big spinning ball. Um, and then the winner in distance, Z Star XV. Really? It was good. I mean. Um, you know, like I said, I played that ball, but I think it's just an overall good ball with a driver for people with high swing speeds. Um, moving on to the 7-iron data, it looks like the Z-Star XV is again the winner. Ball speed 129.5 between the two of us. Okay. A much higher. Um, and I know that you thought you did a lot better with the Z-Star. I mean, I knew one. I did better. Oh, really? I mean, a field guy, aren't I? Yeah. So, I felt like it was coming off hotter, off the face. Yeah. And the launch angle seemed higher. Um, but obviously, according to the data, that was not the case. And I know that the XV does not feel as good. Yeah. Um, and I think that might have something to do with it because typically tests here, the the equipment that does best for people is usually is, what they don't like. Exactly, um, though I yeah. will agree with you, the the feel on the the Z Star is very comparable to many other softballs out yep. there. And even still, I mean, 186 total 183 carry, like you can't argue with those numbers. It's yep. still really good. Exactly. All right, so. Moving on to the wedge, I mean, this is where we're not going to see the most pronounced differences yep. when you get that short of a distance. Exactly, yeah. The biggest thing is spin rate. Um, you know, we see a lot of ball speed uh, similarities, launch angle, yep. carry and distance total. Uh, it's pretty similar. Yeah. You know, where we saw a lot of spin with the Z-Star XV, which is kind of weird. Yes, exactly. Uh, we're we're yeah, seeing the least amount of spin yeah. on the on the XV at the wedge. And that's the thing, though, too, is like, you know, we just completed our most wanted yep. wedge test for the year, and one of the things that we found in the data was that spin isn't king. Exactly. Um, so when you're you're looking for, to buy a wedge or you're looking into a ball and you're testing with a sand wedge, don't obsess over the spin rate. High spin is good, but it's not the only you thing gotta that matters. you got to take into all account every single thing that makes a ball perform best for you. Exactly. The ball that you play does matter. Um, yes. And you definitely want to get fit because... Harry found out yeah. that he liked the Z-Star. I uh, need to get the, fit for a ball. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, and the Z-Star XV was actually the best yeah. ball for him. Um, so the other thing is, you know, like we said earlier, that um, not everybody swings as fast as we do. So in just a couple exactly. seconds, we'll we'll slap that data up there for the 185 mile an hour swing speed. So if you want to pause that, go ahead and take a quicker and closer look at the yep. data. You know, as you can see right now, the ball doesn't perform the same as it would uh, at the 115 mile an right. hour swing speeds. Some guys do better with the Z-Star, some do better with the Z-Star XV. Hell, some even do better with the Pro V1. Exactly. Um, but the important thing here is that everybody needs to get fit for balls. Yes, exactly. Um, I see so many testers come in here all the time, uh, guys with high handicaps playing Pre ultra premium balls that they're they're losing a few every time they go out and play. And That's so, me as well. <laughs> it's costing money for them. Yeah. Just a reminder that this is not an official ball test, so take it with a grain of salt. Tony Covey did a great video on YouTube explaining why we haven't done one just yet, but we are planning on doing one in the future. Yeah, so if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with a friend, and definitely subscribe to see more content like this on your feed soon. For now, I'm gonna go try to convince Harry to play Z-Star XV golf balls. Mm, this could get interesting. <laughs>